fellow students, family, friends, faculty, and most importantly, graduating class of 2023. My name is Alyssa Polanco, and it is a privilege and an honor to be welcoming you this evening to Farmerville High School's 2023 graduation ceremony. familiares, amigos, profesores y más tan la 33 a Neco, es un privilegio darles la bienvenida esta noche a la ceremonia de graduación del año 23 de las escuelas de I'd like to start by introducing our dignitaries at this time. Dignitaries, if you would please stand when your name is called for recognition. John Alvarez, President. John Vasquez, Board Clerk. Sabrina Gomez, trustee. <laughs> Alice Lopez, trustee. <laughs> Ruben Macareno, trustee. <laughs> Dr. Chavez, superintendent. Nos gustaría comenzar presentando a nuestros dignitarios en este momento. Dignatarios, por favor, pónganse de pie cuando su nombre sea nombrado. John Alvarez, presidente. John Vasquez, board clerk. Sabrina Gómez, trustee. Alice Lopez, trustee. Ruben Macareno, trustee. And Dr. Chavez, our super board and superintendent. Sorry. <laughs> Graduation is one of life's most significant moments in a student's life. It brings us joy and pain to be reaching the pain of the end of this stage in our education. Join to know we will continue on to bigger and better and reach for all of our goals. And pain to know we will be saying goodbye to everyone we have spent the past 13 years growing and learning with. La graduación es uno de los momentos más significativos de la vida de un estudiante. Nos trae alegría y dolor estar llegando al final de esta etapa en nuestra educación. Alegría de saber que seguiremos creciendo y mejorando y alcanzaremos todas nuestras metas. Y dolor de saber que nos despediremos de todas las personas con las que hemos pasado los últimos 13 años creciendo y aprendiendo. We would like to thank those who put the time and effort into organizing this well-prepared event. Our graduation is even more memorable because of the time you all put into making today possible and meaningful. To our teachers, thank you for the knowledge you gave us and the many lessons you shared with us. Thank you to your parents for the hard work you have done for us to have made it this far. We are happy all of you could be here today celebrating this milestone with us. And most of all, thank you God for all of your blessings. And so, dear family, friends, and honored guests, on behalf of this graduating class, 
It is my pleasure to welcome you to be part of this year's graduation ceremony. Nos gustaría agradecer a quienes dedicaron tiempo y esfuerzo en la organización de este evento. Nuestra graduación es aún más memorable debido al tiempo que dedicaron a hacer que hoy sea posible y significativo. A nuestros maestros, gracias por el conocimiento que nos brindaron y las muchas lecciones que compartieron con nosotros. Gracias, queridos padres, por el trabajo que han hecho para que hayamos llegado a este momento. Estamos felices de que todos ustedes puedan estar aquí hoy celebrando este momento con nosotros. Y sobre todo, gracias a Dios por todas sus bendiciones. Así que, querida familia, amigos y invitados de honor, en nombre de esta clase que se va a graduar, es un placer darles la bienvenida para que formen parte de la ceremonia de graduación de este año. To our classmates, we have reached the end and can finally say we did it. As we go on to accomplish so many of our life goals, remember to face those goals without fear. I know it was not easy to get to this point, but I am proud of each of you for overcoming all of life's obstacles and being here today. I wish you all good luck in your journey after high school. May you reach all your goals and be as successful as you strive to be. Congratulations, thank you, and once again, welcome and good afternoon. A nuestros compañeros de la clase, hemos llegado al final y finalmente podemos decir que lo logramos. Ahora seguiremos enfrentando nuevas metas en la vida y recuerden enfrentarlas sin miedo. Sé que no fue fácil llegar a este punto, pero estoy orgullosa de cada uno de ustedes por superar todos los obstáculos de la vida y estar aquí hoy. Les deseo a todos buena suerte en sus carreras después de la escuela secundaria. Que alcancen todas sus metas y sean tan exitosos como se esfuerzan por ser. Felicidades, gracias y una vez más, bienvenidos y buenas tardes. Without them, we wouldn't be here today or move forward to the next chapter of our lives, adulthood. We appreciate everything you've done for us, helping us realize the potential we have, pushing us to the limits and beyond. I would also like to give my thanks to my family and friends. Without them, I wouldn't know how I would have survived high school. High school on one side, having my friends make me laugh and swell. My, while on the other side, having my family to lean on for love and support. I would also like to give a special shout out to my cousin Alyssa, who I consider my big sis. She has always been there for me and made my saddest days the happiest. She has done so much for me and I'm very lucky to have her in my life. So thank you to her. Now a message to my fellow classmates. I want every single one of you to remember how far you've come and the accomplishments you've made. Yeah, we may have hit some bumps along the road, but that's just how life is and we need to learn how to keep moving forward without giving up. 
Yeah, we had some sleepless nights, becoming a pro, a pro, wait, becoming a pro of procrastinating, and mostly wishing we were at home. And though we still wouldn't do that again, it was an interesting experience. However, over the years we've been here, we made some amazing memories with each other, and have something we can look back at when we're older about it. When we're older and about it. We also made some unforgettable friendships which hopefully will last a lifetime. Even though we may take separate routes in our lives, always remember we created one big family, the Aztecs. When we leave here today, I want you guys to cherish this moment and take it in, because this right here is one of a lifetime. So when you walk this stage with a diploma in our hands, be proud of yourselves and the bright future ahead, because we all work so hard for it and deserve it. So thank you to the Farnsville High School for having us and helping us become the best version of ourselves. On behalf of Class 2023, we out. We're Hola, buenas tardes. Good evening. I am Cassandra Garcia, the valedictorian of class of 2023. To my fellow classmates, thank you and congratulations in achieving this milestone. Many of us never thought this day would come, but now we are here receiving our diplomas that we greatly worked hard for. We are here to finally close one chapter to open a new chapter in our lives. Thank you to you who all helped, supported, and pushed me during these four years, my friends, family, and faculty. Gracias a todos los que me han ayudado, apoyado y empujado durante estos cuatro años. A mis amigos, familia y profesores. A mi mamá, gracias. Me seguiste apoyando y empujando hacia adelante a la vida. Eres mi gran inspiración. La que me dijo que siguiera trabajando duro, porque ningún hijo mío debería estar trabajando en el campo como yo. A mi hermana Leslie, gracias, que me llevó a mis clases de COS incluso después de estar tan cansada después de la escuela y o el trabajo, pero todavía teniendo tiempo para llevar a su mocosa hermanita a clase. Gracias al resto de mi familia, amigos y profesores que siempre me animaron a dar lo mejor de mí y dieron lo mejor de mí cuando yo no pude. As the year has concluded, as your class, fellow classmate, I wanted to say thank you for all the memories that you've helped me create during these four years in high school. I'll forever cherish these moments. As Zola once said, lo hicimos, we did it. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 
that our class gift will be $2,000 donated to repaint the emblem above the stadium sign. Elles sont pas celles qui sont les plus grandes et les plus grandes. Elles sont pas celles qui sont les plus grandes et les plus grandes. Elles sont pas celles qui sont les plus grandes et les plus grandes. I invite you to embrace its, its significance for it represents not just an object but a powerful reminder of the fearless spirit that coursed through our once Aztec veins. It stands as a testament to our ability to over overcome obstacles, to ride above adversity, and to leave an unforgettable mark on the world. Los invito a abrazar su significado porque representa no solo un objeto, sino un poderoso recordatorio. Es un testimonio de nuestra capacidad para superar obstáculos, superar la diversidad y dejar una huella inolvidable para el mundo. Now as I conclude this memorable occasion, I am reminded of the countless times we were doubted, the moments when our resilience was put to the test, yet here we stand, victorious, having accomplished what many thought was impossible. Ahora concluir esta ocasión, me gustaría recordarles de las innumerables veces que nos pusimos en duda, los momentos en que se puso a prueba nuestra capacidad de recuperación. Sin embargo, aquí estamos, victoriosos, habiendo logrado lo que muchos pensaban que era imposible. Congratulations, congratulations, my fellow graduates. Our journey has just begun. Thank you, and may the legacy of our class forever inspire the future generations to come. Felicitaciones mis compañeros, nuestro viaje acaba de comenzar. Cerramos un capítulo para comenzar a escribir otro nuevo. Gracias y que el llegado de nuestra clase inspire para siempre a las futuras generaciones. Good afternoon, everybody. That was much louder than yesterday. That's good. Buenas tardes a todos. ¿Cómo están? No se oye. ¿Cómo están? Quieren que estén contentos hoy. Who here is happy today? Let's hear it. Con Tony Matrangas. Let's go for it. Yeah, yeah, but it's going to be in the Azteca, right? But... And a big shout out to the young brother in the middle of the crowd over here. It's amazing, your spirit, young brother. I wish that you could be my brother for today. Is that cool? You? Yeah. All right. As long as we do that before 10 o'clock, you go to that surf, you know? All right. I heard another young brother here behind me yell out to his mom, I did it mom, I did it mom. Let's give that young man and all of our graduates a big round of applause and let them know that they did do it. Now that I'm going to say they did it, yes, I am. I mean, all you parents, all you parents, raise your hand. Todos los papás, levanten la mano. Los que son papás, a menos que lo nieguen. All right. Hey, listen, I'm a daddy too. Remember what they said. We did it. So when we get home, and it's the end of the basura, the day of the trash, we want to make sure that they also say, Mom, I did it. Well, All right. My name is Sergio Cuauhtémoc Chavez, and I am the very proud superintendent of Farmersville Unified School District. And for me, it's an honor to be here with you today. And to all of our beautiful graduates, And I understand 
that years ago, many of you in the audience and many of the adults here behind me did not have a high school to go to. They had to go to Exeter. But in the year 2000, we built Farmersville High School. And today in 2023, we celebrate the 23rd generation of young Aztecas who are graduating from this beautiful high school in this wonderful district and in this amazing community that is Farmersville. Let's give the children a big round of applause. Hoy celebramos la vida. Hoy celebramos el amor. El amor que tenemos para nuestros hijos, para nuestros nietos, nuestros sobrinos, nuestros parientes y nuestros vecinos. Hoy celebramos la unión entre la educación and education. Suena igual, pero no necesariamente es lo mismo. En nuestra cultura, la educación quiere decir, además de lo académico, es respetar a sus padres, es ser honesto, es ser trabajador, es ser luchante para poder sobresalir. Y education es la parte académica en inglés que los prepara para el colegio y el más allá. So this is a joint union between education and education, which sound the same but not really. They have a slightly different definition. And when our children, when our babies only receive half of the two, they are like running with one guarache. They need both. Our children need both. Lo académico y lo cultural. Tienen que mantener su idioma, su cultura, sus tradiciones, sus cariños para sus abuelos que arriesgaron todo para venir aquí y darle a sus hijos y a sus nietos una vida mejor. Ustedes representan el pueblo. Ustedes representan el pueblo que le da de comer al mundo. You feed the world, ladies and gentlemen. And we, as the staff, as the administration, as the leadership of this district, have a moral obligation to thank you by providing your children the education that is needed so they can grow up and survive and grow up and become the leaders of tomorrow. Do you agree? I can't hear you. Do you agree? All right. Now, I did not have the privilege of coming from familia that work the land, but my wife's family is. My family also worked hard, but in the city. And I was a lot of kid. I still am. But I stand before you today, Dr. Sergio Guantemo Chavez. Ah, hasta la corneta ganas you. That's awesome. It's like a partido de las chivas of America. Okay, before we go there, I was born in Tijuana, so I had to go for those cholos, but at any rate. Oh. Now listen, it's an honor to be here with you today. It's an honor to have you here and demonstrating to your children a very strong message. And I can almost guarantee that the message that you want to give your children is one, that you love them, and two, is to never forget. Never forget your family, never forget your community, never forget your people, never forget yourself. So for us, in the words of the Honorable Cesar Chavez, may he rest in peace, 
It's not enough to get an education. The education has to be useful enough to put it at the service of their community. So the ask that we have is that we love them, but we don't want them to forget. So when they go on to college and beyond, they come back to Farmersville and support their community so we can continue to grow so that our schools begin to improve even more every single day. So we need all of you. So thank you very much. Les agradezco mucho que estén aquí hoy, aquí que celebramos a nuestros niños, pero más que nada, pedirles que no se les olvide su comunidad, que no se les olvide sus abuelos, que no se les olvide su cultura, que no se les olvide sus tradiciones y que no se les olvide quiénes son. No importa para dónde vayan. So with that, in closing, I want to thank you very much for having the honor of being here with you today. And together we celebrate life, we celebrate love, we celebrate our children, and we celebrate the future leaders of tomorrow as I give thanks to our wonderful class, senior class of 2023. Let's give them a big round of applause. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much. acknowledge the work of our guidance department with our social emotional support offered by Beatriz Sanchez. Attendance support offered by Samantha Iniguez. And our CT coordinator, Emilia Wade. We are honored to present the top 10 students of the class of 2023. At number 10, with a GPA of 4.0149, we have Sarai Quintero. Sarai will be attending Cal Poly San Luis Obispo in the fall with a focus on animal science to become a veterinarian. She has completed six college courses. At number nine, with a GPA of 4.0185, is Alexa Fernandez Escaron. Alexa will be attending College of Sequoias. She plans to major in criminal justice. She has passed one AP class. At number eight, with a GPA of 4.0385, Jade Lee Saucido. Jane will be attending College of Sequoias and majoring in nursing. Her career goal is to become an anesthesiologist. At number seven, with a GPA of 4.0476, Anasaura Ramirez Galicia. Anasaura will be attending Fresno State she will be majoring in pre-psychology to become a psychiatrist. She has completed five college courses. At number six, with a GPA of 4.0556, Armando Mendoza Corona. Armando will be attending College of Sequoia to become an auto mechanic. At number five, with a GPA of 4.0735, Adriana Rodriguez. Adriana will be attending Grand Canyon University, majoring in nursing. Adriana has completed eight college courses. At number four with a GPA of 4.1404, Alex Winslow. 
Now that he's going to be attending Fresno State, he is majoring in business and wants to start his own logistics company. Alex has completed five college classes. And number three, with a GPA of 4.2167, Mary Jane Adegonde. Mary Jane will be attending College of the Sequoias. She is interested in kinesiology to become a physical therapist. She has completed six college classes. This year's salutatorian with a GPA of 4.25 is Alyssa Polanco. She will be attending Fresno State. Alyssa wants to become a nurse practitioner. She has completed five college courses. And this year's class of 2023 valedictorian is Cassandra. With a GPA of 4.3067. Cassandra will be attending CSU San Francisco to study biochemistry. She wants to become a pediatric surgeon. This is off script, but she will be an amazing doctor one day. Cassandra has completed 13 college courses, equating 44 college credits. Congratulations on her graduate. Good evening. My name is Emily Coop. And my name is Clifford Ayers, and we have the honor and privilege to serve this class. The Aztec Empire and Community as the proud administrators of Farmersville High School. Before we continue, may we have all Farmersville High School teachers and staff rise in recognition for their unshaken and loving support of our students through these unparalleled times. Thank you. At this time, we ask that you join us in a moment of silence for our beloved staff and families that we have lost. Thank you. We welcome all of our families, friends, and distinguished guests for joining us today as we recognize the astounding accomplishments of the class of 2023. We would like to acknowledge the determination of our graduating class and all of those that have supported our students along the way. It is important to recognize the class of 2023's journey that has been filled with hurdles and hardships. Our students, parents, guardians, teachers, and staff have gone through various phases in the last four years. As some of you may know, I stand before you as a Farmersville native. I am proud to have gone through the same school system you have entrusted your children in. This class holds a special place as we have grown together this last, these last four years. Graduates, you were freshmen my first year at the high school. During that year, the world changed and schools closed in March of 2020. Then sophomore year, you stayed at home in distance learning and sheltered in place until April of 2021, where we were able to return in small ways. Start of junior year had promise with asynchronous instruction. Students were at school and at home. Teachers were managing instruction in this newfound era. Students who were on campus went through numerous quarantines and yet they persevered. Now we look into the senior year, as many have stated, a real school year, to be back on campus and feel like school. Through all of this, our empire has risen through the fire and stands tall before you today. 
To have witnessed and been part of this journey fills me with such pride. It has been truly an honor to have served you. Graduates, may you always carry pride from being from Farmersville. You are my why, as you are so many others. You are the reason we do this job day in and day out. You have kept us strong. Many of you have challenges and struggles. Some of them we know about and others we don't. But know this, we see you. We see your potential. We see your strength, your creativity, your gifts, your kindness, your uniqueness, countless talents, and determination. We see all that you are and believe in all that you will become. It is our hope that wherever the next part of your journey takes you, that you will always hold your head up high and be proud of being an asset. You will forever be part of our Aztec empire. Move forward into this next phase of your life. Being the Aztec ambassadors we know you are. Feel empowered to be yourself and take the experiences you learn here into the next chapter. But do so by being motivated, showing professionalism, integrity, respect, and empathy on your journey. This is an opportunity for you to contribute to our empire, our community. There will be times that this will not be easy and you will continue to be tested. But let me assure you that there is no test given to you that you cannot pass. You will prevail, as you have done so many times before. You are all sitting behind us showing how you have all persevered. Graduates, you can positively shift the future with a new perspective and a sense of resilience for what you have accomplished and tonight is a true testament of those achievements. Graduation is a time to celebrate your accomplishments, prepare for the future, and embrace a world of infinite possibilities. You have gained resilience and an experience unlike any other graduating class before you. You and you alone have the ability to recreate and reshape the future. It is yours for the making. What lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. May you always look inward to see just how amazing you are. The world needs to hear your voice and see your light. Now we will share some facts about the class of 2023. Nine seniors were born out of the country. Seven seniors were born out of state. One hundred thirty seven were born in California. Sixty-four seniors have been a student of Farmersville Unified since kindergarten. Two students have had perfect attendance. All four years of high school, Valeriano Ramirez Diaz. One student has not missed one day since kindergarten. Daniel Garza. Our oldest senior was born on December 25, 2003, Rogelio Gonzalez. Our youngest senior was born on December 17, 2005. Kevin Bustamante Mendez. Sixty-four of our seniors will attend a community college.
five of them will be joining the military. Twenty-four students attending a four-year university. Thirty-four are going into the workforce after high school. Twenty-three seniors have taken college courses while in high school. Eighty are CTE pathway completers. Nineteen CSF California Scholarship Federation lifetime members. Fifty students are A through G eligible. We have 20 seniors receiving the State of Biliteracy. These students have attained a high level of proficiency in speaking reading and writing in one or more languages in addition to English. We have 22 seniors receiving the Golden State Seal Merit Diploma. These students have demonstrated mastery of the high school curriculum in at least six subject areas. Aztec Athlete of the Year is voted by all varsity head coaches, athletic director, and FH administrators. This recognition epitomizes excellence in three C's, in competition, in the classroom, and in personal character. This year, our recipients are Mel Aztec Athlete of the Year, Daniel Garza. Female Aztec Athlete of the Year, Melanie Ceballos. Over the past few years, we have been challenging the culture of Farmersville High School. One way is through our PBIS system, where Aztec Empire was developed. This year, the FHS student body has chosen an emperor and empress who they feel represent all facets of empire. Aztec Emperor, Avelino Garcia. Aztec Empress, Kaylee Villarreal. Aztec of the Year is selected by staff and demonstrating what it truly means to be an Aztec. These students lead by example, both on and off campus. Male Aztec of the Year, Avelino Garcia. Female Aztec of the Year, Alyssa Polanco Perez. The students that sit before you tonight have developed a skill set that will guide them in their next chapter. The class of 2023 continues to show resilience, kindness, compassion, and perseverance. We challenge you to return one day and give back to our community. Superintendent Dr. Sofia Chavez and members of the Board of Trustees, I present to you the candidates of 2023 for commencement and graduation degrees from Farmersville High School. Families, as a reminder, please be seated until all names are called.
Martinez. Brenda Michelle Moreno. Rebecca Montes de Oca. Adriana Alicia Guzman. Patricia Aguila Rodríguez Serna. Eliana Elise Cruz. Orville Ford. Emily Valerie Rivas. Sarah Helgit. Valerie Capetillo. Luis Rapan Berber. Daniel Hernandez Santiago. Alexis Lopez Ibarra. Mendoza Artiaga Carlos Encinas Herrera Tyler Bible Sebastián Hernández Banuelos Edgar Reyes Moreno Oswaldo Gutiérrez Sánchez Jacob Terrado Kevin Bustamante Mendez. Abril Bustamante Vidaña. Alexandria Flores 
Ciclali y Amitel para. Gabriel González, María Torres Delgado, Jordan Gómez, Alberto Rapán Berber, José Reyes, Lino Ángel Silva Castillo. Brian Deathridge. Cora Sky Norman. Chloe Gomez. Sierra Raymond Alvarez. Jesse Lomeli Navarrete. Elizabeth Rita Bravo. Leonard Jesus Hernandez Jr. Guadalupe Cisneros. Stephanie Cruz. Daisy Aguilar. Melanie Nunez. Palacios. 
Eduardo Mancera. Cali Pei Rubio. Rogelio González. Arnel Azul Nava Mendoza. Lucien Garza. Samuel Moreno Jr. Madeline Rocha Torres. Xavier Santillan. Melissa Santillan Malagón. Ismael Santillan Manzano. Thomas McCormick.
Araiza Naren Beltrán. José Joel Luchi. Carissa Valeria Martínez. By the power vested in me by the state of California as superintendent of Farmersville Unified School District, I confer upon these youngsters the title of graduate, and I admit all of you seniors to the status with all the rights and responsibilities that this title bears. This gave our graduating class a big round of applause. Congratulations, and have a good night.
el fuego, ¿no? Como el... ¿Cómo me dijiste? El loco aportito. 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 El lo